Hi, greetings of the day, welcome to Dr. D. Watt Padilla Texas Sages Institute of Hotel Management and Catering Technology Pune 33. This presentation is done by Professor Arvind K. Soundcombly. We are going to learn about bakery and confectionery today. Chapter number 6. Cookies. Chapter 6 Cookies. Definition and Introduction. Derived from a Dutch term example cock. Which means small cakes they come in a variety of shapes, size, flavor and texture as some cookies are crisp others are soft. Cookies formula mostly calls for a less liquid than cake formula. Cookies dough range from soft to very stiff unlike thinner batters for cake. The most apparent difference between cakes and cookies are in makeup since most cookies are individually formed or shaped, there is a great deal of hand labor involved. Baking time is short in cookies than cakes. Characteristics of cookies Cookies comes in a variety of shapes size flavor and texture in order to produce the characteristics we desire to correct faults, it is useful to know what causes this basic traits. Characteristics are crispness, softness, chewiness. Crispness Cookie is crisp when low in moisture content. Following factors contributes to crispness. One low proportion of liquid in the mix top most crisp cookies are made from stiff dough. Too high sugar and fat content makes it possible to mix the dough with low moisture content. 3. Baking long enough to evaporate most of the moisture. Softness. Softness is the opposite of the crispness so it has opposite causes as follows. One high proportion of liquid as the milk point too low fat and sugar content. 3. A large size or thick shape so that they retain more moisture. Chewiness. Moisture is necessary for chewiness. In other words all chewy cookies are soft, but not all soft cookies are chewy. Following factors contributes to softness 1. High sugar and liquid contained, but low fat content. 2. High proportion of eggs. 3. Strong flour for gluten developed during mixing. Mixing methods. Cookies mixing methods are very much like cake mixing methods only major difference is that less liquid is usually incorporated, which facilitates mixing easier, less developing of gluten and ease to get a smooth and uniform mix. There are three basic mixing methods of cookies. Point one. One stage method. Two creaming method. Three sponge method. One stage method. All the ingredients are placed in mixer and mixed with the paddle attachment at low speed until uniformly blended. This method is generally used in recipes where over mixing is not a great problem, like chewy cookies. A disadvantage of this method is, the baker has less control over the mixing of ingredients. Example Almond Macaroons, Coconut Macaroons. Creaming Method in this method fat sugar salt and spices are creamed with paddle attachment in low speed until light and fluffy for light cookies, and smooth paste for denser cookies, eggs and liquid is added and blended in at low speed, flour and leavening is sifted in and mixed gently until combined, to avoid gluten development. The amount of creaming affects the texture, leveling and spread of the cookies. Example Oatmeal Raisin Cookies Peanut Butter Cookies Sponge method. This method is similar to the egg foam methods for cake. Procedure for sponge method. A. Scale all the ingredients accurately. B. Following is the procedure given in the formula used with egg and sugar to proper stage. Egg white plus sugar is equal to soft peak consistency. Egg yolk or whole eggs plus sugar equal to thick and light consistency. C. Fold in the remaining ingredients like flour as specified in recipe do not over or deflate the egg. Example Lady Fingers, Mandlains. Types of Cookies Cookies can be classified into different types on the basis of the method, that are point 1. Bagged Cookies. 2. Drop Cookies. Point 3. Rolled Cookies. Point 4. Molded Cookies. Point 5. Icebox Cookies. Point 6. Bar cookies. 7. Sheet cookies. Bagged cookies. 
Bagged cookies are made from soft dough. The dough must be soft enough to be forced through a pastry bag but stiff enough to hold its shape. The dough is pressed through the piping bag directly on baking sheets. Example Butter Buttoned Ginger Snaps Dropped Cookies Dropped cookies are made from a soft dough. The dough is dropped or deposited on the baking tray with a spoon or a scoop. It is generally used when the dough contains pieces of fruits nuts chocolate that can clog the pastry or piping nozzle. A proper size scoop for accurate positioning is taken and the dough is dropped on baking sheets with enough space between cookies. Example Oatmeal Raisin Cookies Chocolate Chip Cookies Rolled Cookies Rolled cookies are made by rolling chilled stiff dough and then cutting to desired shapes with cookie cutter. The only advantage of this method is that it allows a great varieties of shapes for different occasions. Example Christmas Cookies Halloween Cookies Molded Cookies The refrigerated soft dough is rolled out into long cylinders to whatever size required and then divided to equal portions by a knife or bench scraper. Each piece is then molded into the desired shape, by simply flattening the pieces out with the weight. Special molds are used to flatten the dough and at the same time stamp a design on the cookies. The pieces may also be shaped by hand in the crescent, fingers or other shapes example peanut butter cookies, Shrewsbury cookies etc. Icebox cookies Icebox or refrigerator type cookies ideal for operations that wish to have freshly baked cookies on hand at all types. The rolls of doughs can be made up in advance, wrapped in parchment paper or wax paper. Cookies can be easily cut and baked as needed. This method is also used to make muddy colored cookies in various designs such as checkersport and pinwheel cookies. Example Dutch cookies, icebox cookies cookies, bullseye cookies. Bar cookies. Cookies are called bar cookies because of the procedure that is the dough is big and long narrow strips which are then cut crosswise into bars while the cookies are still warm example chocolate chip cookies, brownies. Sheet cookies. The cookies dough or mixture is spread with evenly thickness onto prepared sheet pan or cutters which shelf impressions are used to cut the sheet and bake with the help of impressions on the cookies the toppings added on with detailed impressions after calling example Swiss Leckily Nut Squares, Sabes. Panning Baking and Cooling Panning Preparing the pan A. Use clean trays. B. Lining the sheet pans with parchment or silicone paper is fast and it eliminates greasing of pans. C. The pan should be lightly greased and floured as it decreases the spread. D. Some high fat cookies can be baked on ungreased pans. Baking. A. Most cookies are baked at a high temperature for a short time. B. Lower temperature increases spreading and may produce hard dry, pale cookies. C. Too high a temperature decreases spreading and may burn the edges. D. Doneness is indicated by color the edges and bottom should be turning a light golden color. E. Excessive browning is especially undesirable if dough has been colored since the browning of the surface hides the color. Cooling. A. Most cookies baked without silicon paper should be removed from pans while they are still warm as they may stick. B. If cookies are very soft, they should not be removed from the pan until they are cool enough and firm enough to handle. C. Do not cool too rapidly or in cold drafts as they tend to crack. D. Cool completely before storing. 